Now that we've completed our track, I want to export the project so I can put it on my computer. But first, let's save this project. Press the File button and select Save As. You can save the entire project, a group if you've built a custom drum kit, or a specific sound. I have the option to save the project with samples so that if I bring my project onto my computer and want to open it in Machine 2 software, none of the samples are missing. I'll select Project and turn on Save with Samples. Click the Save As at the top and now name your project. Press Enter when you're done. Now we can export the project. I'll press File again and select Export Audio. I can make adjustments to the export settings with the knobs below. I can export the entire project, the stems for the groups, or even the stems for each individual sound. I want to export the full project, so I'll select All. I'll leave the sample rate at 44.1 and the file type is WAVE. Once you have your export settings dialed in, just press the Export button. To access the file, there are two ways to go about doing this. The first is by popping out the SD card and putting it into your computer if you have an SD card reader, or you can put Machine Plus into storage mode, letting you access the SD card from your computer. On the back of the hardware, connect a USB cable into the USB port and the other end into your computer. Press the Settings button, navigate to System, and then press Storage. You can then select OK. Just give it a couple seconds, and now you can see the SD card on my computer. Let's open up the SD card and go to Native Instruments, Machine 2, and Exports. Here you can see all of the projects that I've exported from Machine Plus. Just below the Exports folder, you'll see the Projects folder. This is where the project got saved to, and you can see the Samples folder as well. You can copy this project file over to your computer, and then open it in Machine 2 software if you want to finish your track on the computer. What's very important when it comes time to disconnecting Machine Plus from your computer is to first eject the SD card from your computer, and then press the Disconnect button on the hardware. By just pressing the Disconnect button on the hardware, this will not properly eject the SD card from your computer, potentially causing the SD card to become corrupt if you are transferring files. And those are the basics of using Machine Plus from registering your hardware to exporting your track. We only scratched the surface of what Machine Plus is capable of. For a more detailed overview of specific features or things we didn't cover, make sure you check out our other Machine Plus tutorials and also check out the manual. Thanks for watching.